Hi folks, Kirk and Jay here with another tip of the day in regards to caulking. What we're going to do is we're going to cro- uh, caulk this uh, crack right here. looks real bad, but actually it's somewhat typical. You figure, the house is about 80 years old. It doesn't have a weep screed at the bottom, and most houses don't have a weep screed. They're not a, they didn't come in a code until 1975. Heck, we didn't even use them until 1980. Anyway, in order to fix a crack, you should kind of have an idea what causes a crack. We, this is a two-story house. We're in the Oakland Hills, and it's one, one story in the front, and it goes to two in the back. Now, what causes cracking like this is it's just natural, guys. What we have is it's seasonal. Say the rains come. And guess what? When the rains lift this house and move it, stucco does not flex. It'll hairline crack. And usually stucco will start to hairline crack, say, 1 64th, like a hair on your head. And then it'll go to 30 seconds, a 16, an eighth, and so on over five years. Now this one, it took, um, uh, he says, 10 years it's been starting. And I noticed he put some kind of caulking in here. So what we're doing, guys, is first thing is I'm gouging it out. Now this, this part's a bit of a drag. It's boring, time consuming, but you just gouge it. You take it and you open this crack up. And what I want to do is I've been here. Generally, I have a three-in-one tool that is you know, a painter's uh, type of, and I just put it in here and pull it, and it works real well, but I can't find that tool. So I just make do with what I have. And what I'm doing is... I'm removing an old caulking that he put in, he said, 10 years ago. I don't know what he used, but I've got a great product that I've been using for, oh, more than 20. This stuff here, it's a polyurethane caulking. Now this, what, when I get this all cleaned out, I'm not going to show you that on video. I'm going to go ahead and scrape this and clean it out. And when I get it done, I'm going to uh, apply this uh, polyurethane in there, and I'm going to use a trowel at first and get it right in the crack. I want it to go deep, deep in that crack, as far back as it can go. And can you grind this? You could, but that just makes a lot of dust, and then you've got to hose it all down, and you can't put in mo- most caulkings on if it, you have a wet wall. I'm going to gouge it, then wire brush it, and then I'm going to install this. Uh, when I get to that stage where it's all clean, I'll show you how I do it. Okay, guys, now we've got a pretty good crack going on there. What also causes cracks? Vibrations. This door here, of course, it's new, but it used to have the wood door where you open it and shut it, and that shakes the house, it cracks it. You ever notice if you've got an older house with the lead in the windows, you've got the lead weights, and you lift it and you open and shut it? Vibration. Those houses always crack big time underneath and above all of those windows. Vibration. We, okay, I'm going to put this particular caulk in here. I'm kind of partial to it. I've been using it for, man, as long as I can remember, uh, over 20 years. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to squeeze it in there. The excess, I'm, I'm going to take a putty knife and just get it in there. Then I'm actually going to take, in the old days, we'd put some sand over that just from our truck, throw some sand and float it in. But I have actually... Uh, what I'm going to do is mix some of this up with sand afterwards, after I get it squeezed in here. I'll tell you about vibration, guys. We did Sears Point Raceway, oh, like uh, 25 years ago. I stuccoed the fellow's house who owns that uh, place, and he called me and says, hey, Kirk, we've just built a watchtower. You and your guys want to stucco it. That was when I was big time, guys. I had uh, a lot of guys, like... uh, 14 guys. So we did it. Our reward was we got to go around the racetrack and got the shit scared out of us. I thought that car was going to flip. But anyway, he had an area where they called me back. He said, Kirk, we got a hairline crack here. It's big. And I said, well, let me take a look at it. So I drove all the way back down there. Uh, and I looked at it. I said, well, it's a vibration crack. And he says, well, what do you mean? And it had a wheelchair uh, lift right there. Now that wheelchair lift, I said, open that gate. So he opened the gate, and when he shut it, shut the gate, what happened was that, that gate just, it was a solid steel gate, and it's, when it shut, you can hear it. You go, dun 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 and that's what cracked the crap out of that one wall. So vibration will cause cracking, guys. 
Now what we want to do is, that's in there. I could use my finger, but this stuff is nasty. It gets everywhere. Good caulking, but it has its side effects, meaning you don't want to get it all over you. What I'm going to do is just that right there. Now, this is the best caulking that I'm aware of. Some of you folks might say, man, Kirk, I got some better stuff than that. Well, if you do, that's groovy, but this stuff actually works for me. I take a couple bricks and it doesn't come apart. A few drops. I rebuilt my buddies, my neighbors. Big chunk of like 20 bricks fell off. I put some of this on 20 years ago. It's still holding and kids are climbing on it. Anyway, I don't recommend you guys do that, but I'm trying to prove a point. And will this caulking solve this problem? No, but it's a good 10 year fix. It'll start again like a hair, go to the 32nd, 16th, and 8th, and it'll restart the process again. But this is a cheap fix rather than uh, tear the whole wall off. And that's what he originally called. And I said, dude, you don't need to do that. I'll do it if you want, but you don't need to do it. I'm going to give this uh, a minute, and then I'll throw some sand on it. I'll show you that too. Okay, guys, I mixed a little bit of sand in this stuff, and this stuff is really nasty. They got latexes, a Acrylics that are easy and washable, but they don't they're not as effective. Trust me. I've tried them all But what I'm going to do here now is since I mixed a little bit of sand here And it kind of made the color the color of sand I'm going to hit it real fast just to give it some grain and float it and I'll be done with it Now I got to move fast guys because this stuff is not water clean up But you got to choose you want water clean up where it's easy the caulk is not going to last as long All right guys so now I'm going to take a little bit of this nasty stuff here with the sand. Okay. Go tight. Tight. Can you see that? Tight. All right. Now what I'm going to do here, lastly, is try to feather this in real fast because this stuff... Uh, in another minute it won't be floatable or another 10 seconds a real drag to float this stuff and that's about as long lasting a finish as you can do guys and again the reason I put some sand in it is because this has sand in it and the reason I use that Sikaflex is because it is the best caulking I know any of you guys got some comparables send them to me I know there's uh, the Rainbuster and there's quite a few other ones, but this stuff really works well. There's a lot of caulkings I can use that save me a lot of time, but I choose this one. Anyway, guys, my name is Kirk. I'm with Kirk Giordano Plastering. As usual, we thank you for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.